we all know this let us consider sine of a plus b what is sine a plus b children it is a uh, sine a cos b plus cos a sine so knowing this four results we'll see how we can derive the other results what is sine a minus b it is going to be sine a cos b minus cos a and sine b fine now with this you take these two expressions so two uh, results what if i add these two results so 1 plus 2 what do i get here before doing it let me take the third one cos of a plus b what is cos a plus b children cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and fourth one cos a minus b is going to be equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b so we are going to use this uh, four results and find some uh, interesting results let us consider first one consider the first one okay so you put in the first one you put b is equal to a or let us consider b is equal to here here so what do we get children the first one instead of if i use this i get a plus a is equal to sin a cos a plus cos a sin b children now what this becomes what this becomes sin of uh, 2a will be equal to 2 because since it's same it is 2 sin a cos a this is one other result children so this is a sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a now let us let us consider the second one uh let's again let's name this first result second third fourth now what we got here is the fifth one okay so consider the third one again what do you have again you in this you put b is equal to a here so what do we get children yeah cos of very good cos of a plus a is equal to cos a cos a very good minus sin a sin a very nice so what is cos 2a my cos 2a will be equal to cos square a minus sin square a fine so this is another result now i call i name this as 3 sorry 6 good now what do i get next consider we got sin 2a and cos 2a and obviously you need tan so for which i'm going to consider right consider tan of a plus b what is tan a plus b children tan a plus b is we all know that tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a and tan b so what do i get here if i put as usual you put here b is equal to a here what do i get here you get tan 2a becomes i get tan a plus tan a right tan a Plus tan a divided by one minus tan a and tan a. So this is nothing but so which we get as tan two a as two tan a divided by one minus tan square a children. So this is the 
other results. So what we have got so far is that we got the results for sin 2a, cos 2a and tan 2a, right? So from this, we are going to derive more results. So let us consider, let us consider the fifth expression, fifth which is nothing but what? Yes, sin 2a. What is sin 2a we got actually? We got it as 2 sin a cos a. So I'm going to express this in terms of tan. So what do I, I'm, what am I going to do here? So I'm going to multiply. So sin 2 sin a cos a. I'm going to multiply and divide by cos a. Why do I do that? Because so I get 2 tan a into cos square a cos square a is nothing but what children so i can write it as 1 by secant square a so we all know this already what do we know so secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 so from which i can say secant square a in terms of tan will be 1 plus tan square so I can use this. So what do I get here? So finally, I get, therefore, I can say sine 2a in terms of tan can be written as 2 tan a divided by 1 plus tan square a. You happy? Good. So we got the sine result in terms of tan. So this is my eighth result. Now again consider the sixth one and I'm going to express in the other forms. So I'm going to consider, I hope you understood so far. Now consider the sixth one which is cos 2a. What is cos 2a? We have written as cos, very good, cos square a minus sin square a. So we all know this, you know I can express cos in terms of tan right sorry cos in terms of sine and sine in terms of cos so what we know i know that cos square a plus sine square a is equal to 1 so from which i can write it as cos square a as either i can take cos square a as 1 minus sine square a or i can take sine square a as 1 minus cos square a so using that first one so here i'm going to take Yes. So in this expression, I'm going to put cos square a as 1 minus sin square a. So what do I get children? So we get therefore cos 2a becomes 1 minus sin square a minus sin square a. So what is this? which is nothing but cos 2a can also be written as 1 minus 2 sin square a. Got it? So this can be your uh, the result. Now the interesting part from here is that I can write sin square a from this. You can rewrite it. So I can take like this. So I get 2 sin square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a. So from this I can say what is sin square a children? It will be 1 minus cos 2a by 2. So this is your another result which I can get it from the same cos 2a result. So I think you understand which is uh, you know if you know cos 2a as cos square a minus sin square a you can derive the other results instantly like this. Now if I put the same expression if I put sin square a as 1 minus cos square a in cos 2a. So what do I get? See what happens. We get cos 2a becomes cos square a minus 1 minus cos square a. So what happens now here? This is nothing but cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a which is equal to 
2 cos square a minus 1 which is your cos 2a is that okay children your cos 2a becomes this is your another result see how we are deriving this results easily so this derivation is very important even if you forget this in exam I mean it's not necessary that you have to remember everything at least you should know how to get these results from the basic results you know okay so that's why I keep telling it is enough to remember sin 2a and cos 2a I mean even uh, it is enough to know that sin a plus b cos a plus b and sin a minus b and cos a minus b with that you can derive all the other results even in the exam hall instantly if you know how to do it so from this see children what do you get mm, how do you get cos square a here so what is your 2 cos square a from here 2 cos square a will become 1 plus cos 2a so from this I can say cos square a can be written as 1 plus cos 2a by 2 so this happens to be another results I hope you guys are following and this is my 12th result so what I have done here so I have derived now my another task is to convert cos 2a in terms of represent cos 2a in terms of tan so again consider cos 2a so what do I have consider what is cos 2a children tell me cos 2a is what yeah, exactly cos square a minus sin square a so now I can consider this uh, like this cos square a minus sin square a since the denominator is 1 can I write it like this can I write it like this I hope it makes sense now you divide the entire expression by divide the right hand side the numerator or in other words I can say multiply sorry divide the numerator and denominator on the right hand side by cos square a so what do I get now therefore your cos 2a becomes cos 2a becomes 1 minus tan square a divided by 1 plus tan square a that's it this is your another result just cos 2a in terms of tan got it so I think we have covered the basics standard results here whatever uh, from the basic this four results we could able to derive the other results so I have shown you here so you can try it on your own write it once again and see and now again from this four results we are going to do something interesting I am going to consider this four I am going to take all the four equations and with this see here yeah sorry let me consider this again I'll take the first two equations you see what I'm going to do now the basic four results as I said you can do a lot with this four results so I'm going to take this and I'm going to add this now again you consider this consider this so if I add this two, see what happens tell me what happens what if I get if I add 1 plus 2 here if I add the right hand side becomes sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b is equal to what do I get 2 sin a cos b now it's very interesting you take yeah I'm going to take a plus b as your c and a minus b as your d you solve this two what is your a from this equation if I take it like this what is your 2a 2a will become c plus d and what is your a a is exactly c plus d by 2 okay and what do you what do I get for b and tell me and I can say I get 
b as exactly c minus t by 2. So I'm going to take this expressions, I'm going to take these values and instead of a plus b and a minus b, we are going to substitute this 2 and instead of a and b, we are going to use this in this expression. So what do we get here? So we get, watch this children, so we get, what do I get? Sin of sin c plus sin d is equal to, what do I get? 2 sin c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2. You okay children? So I think this is something we all should know. This is, the, you, can, you can treat this as sum to product and product to sum. So given the sum, you can write the product and you given the product, you can write the sum. And similarly, if you subtract 1 and 2, what do you get? Yeah, you can try on your own. Can you try that again children? So if I take that, so what do I get? I'm taking 1 and 2 and I'm going to subtract. So what do I have if I subtract this 2? Please tell me if I subtract this 2. So I'm subtracting it. I get sine a plus b minus sine a minus b is equal to, yeah, very good, 2 cos a sin b fantastic so that is using these using this so what do i get using i can say using star that is i can say can i say that is sin c minus sin d will be equal to 2 cos c plus d by 2 children into sin c minus d by 2 is it okay so i hope you guys are following whatever i'm doing here so you can consider these as the results so we have done 13 and see how many results we are proving this is your 14 and this is your 15th result good children nice now let's take the other two so we got sin c minus sin d and sin c plus sin d and similarly you can do it for cos you can try it with the cos and you can try it with tan you can do it accordingly and you can derive the results and let's do that quickly so upon we can you can do it instantly here i'm going to put this so if i consider this so i'm going to add what do i get if i add tell me yeah, I think you guys have predicted already. So can I directly write it? Can I say cos C? Yeah, plus cos D will be equal to what happens? 2 cos, very good children, C plus D by 2 cos C minus D by 2. Very good. So what if I subtract? Also, what do I get? What is... Uh, cos which way I should do can I say cos C minus cos D if I do it accordingly I get minus 2 sine I hope you understand if I subtract it I think you all will agree with me I get minus 2 sine C plus D by 2 sine C minus D by 2 children and I get if I do it another way cos D minus cos C what do I get if I do it on the other side? So you should know what is D and C, right? So what do I get here? Yes, fantastic. 2 sine C plus D by 2 sine C minus D by 2. Good. So I hope you all understood whatever I have done here so far. So these are some basic results we all are supposed to know before getting into problems involving results like this compound angle results and trigonometry so make sure you guys are following this you want the notes please let me know in the comments section i'll share the link of these notes where you can get the access of these notes in the google drive google classroom okay thank you so much children i hope you understood 
you have any doubts any questions you can post it on the comment you like it you please share it with your friends and uh, let's meet in the next video thank you so much bye bye